Now, a couple of months ago, I was finding Aptasia in the reef tank, and you may recall that I used a couple different methods to help eradicate the Aptasia in my aquarium. I used peppermint shrimp, I used Aptasia RX, which by the way, Aptasia RX works really well, and if you wanna check out the link, I have that in the description below. But what happens when you have a lot of Aptasia? I mean, I had tons of Aptasia that was just wreaking havoc on my reef aquarium. So something had to be done. Well, if you watched the last video in this Aptasia battle series, you would have saw that I recruited an Aptasia eating filefish. Now you may be saying, a file fish, if you put a file fish in your reef tank, it's gonna eat all of your zoanthids and it's gonna just munch down on all the polyps and maybe chomp at your corals. Well, I hear you, but it's been over two months and this Aptasia eating file fish has been a model citizen in the reef tank. Now, here's one other thing I've been battling in the aquarium is that my bubble tip anemones have been a little uncomfortable lately and some of them have been moving across the reef tank. Look, there's this guy still over here. And what's funny is he will sometimes hang out there and then go back over there for a while and then travel over there. Almost like he's going on a vacation every once in a while. But I've taken out that basket that I had in here because of coralline algae and I now have two bubble tip anemones hanging out in the tank lamate. So, I mean, if you're looking, if you're still looking for a bubble tip anemone, I mean, let me know. Don't know how to get it to you, but still, I have two. They're just hanging out right there. Okay, so before I show you the results, real quick, what do I recommend when fighting Aptasia in your reef aquarium? After this journey that I've had with Aptasia, how I battled it, how I went about things, this is what I would recommend. If you're seeing Aptasia in your reef tank, you do want to get them out sooner than later because as they just repopulate and produce and just grow in your reef tank it can become an infestation and get out of control real quick kind of like what i went through so if you start to see some aptasia in your aquarium go ahead and start knocking it back with aptasia rx get a handle on it and get rid of it early if you start to see more and more that's when you're going to want to uh, incorporate something like peppermint shrimp to try and get uh, a natural bead on the situation, try to get them to munch down on your Aptasia. If that's not working for you, then definitely try the Aptasia eating file fish method. That's what's worked for me. It's worked for me in two occasions. I had Aptasia in my 210 gallon reef tank a few years ago, knocked it out quickly with, a, uh, with an Aptasia eating file fish. And again, I've had Aptasia in this tank and you can see We'll get to the results, but you will see exactly what the Aptasia eating filefish has done. Okay, so I'm gonna show you each section of the tank, starting with the left side, then we're gonna take a look at the middle and the right side. So if we compare the left side here, you'll see that this rock right here is completely empty, void of all Aptasia. All right, and then let's take a look at the zoanthid rock right here. So this zoanthid rock, Again, some of these rocks I can brush off, some of the detritus and debris that's sitting on the rock, but you'll notice there's no Aptasia here. So here's this rock here on the left side of the tank. No Aptasia to be seen up here. And you can see how riddled this side of the tank was with Aptasia. Just wait till we get to the middle. So again, no unsightly Aptasia to be found in the tank. There used to be some Aptasia right up here in these polyps that were just annoying me like crazy, but those guys are gone. Nothing by the toadstool or underneath the toadstool anymore. As you can see in the comparison shots. But yeah, but there's no Aptasia anywhere. The filefish definitely doing his job. Look at this guy. He is eating frozen mices. He's eating flake food. He's eating Nutrimar food. He's eating anything and everything that I put in the reef aquarium. And look at him. He's on the hunt right now for something. Um, but I mean, he's doing really well. He's doing well with prepared foods. So I'm not worried about him going after any polyps or anything because, hey, I have a lot of of zoanthids and a lot of polyps just growing in the tank and everything's doing really, really well. The next thing that I need to handle are these frag racks up here, the poly rocks. I need to get those zoanthids 
out of there and put down in a in a place in the reef tank because they're just going to grow over the poly rock and I want to kind of keep them ready and prepped for any new corals coming into the tank. Oh, and then update on this toadstool coral. If you've seen any of the short videos, look at the polyp extension on this green toadstool leather. That clownfish loves this toadstool. Just look how long those polyps are getting. I love that toadstool. It's doing great. So the, the entire tank is doing great now. It is eradicated of Aptasia, and there's a few things that I need to do maintenance wise that I'm gonna fill you guys in on a later video and show you how I maintain this 125 gallon reef tank, but all is well right now. So the Aptasia eating filefish has been working hard. There's no Aptasia anywhere except right up there. Look at that Aptasia, just one more, one, one Aptasia left. And that's a big guy too. That's like, that's like the mother Aptasia. So you can see I'm really happy with the Aptasia eating filefish results. I'm very happy and pleased with him eradicating pretty much every single piece of Aptasia except for that one right up here in the corner, which I could probably just scrape off with a razor blade, but you know, Aptasia, if you don't get all of them, they do like to just come back. But I'm not worried about it because I have the file fish taking care of things. So if you enjoyed this video and you like what you saw, go ahead and click or tap your screen to watch this video right here. I know you're gonna love it and it's gonna help you in your reef aquarium journey. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.